hi lovely people hi to my 1 million subscribers if you're new here don't rush out kindly wait to the end of this video and i promise you you're gonna enjoy the gist i tell stories if you've been coming before and you've not subscribed kindly subscribe i have a larger percentage of unsubscribed viewers so subscribe viewers i will really appreciate if you guys can get me to 1000 subscribers thank you very much so today we are going to dive quickly first of all i miss you guys i miss all of you i miss your comments i miss your like i miss your share so please do all these things as we proceed so welcome <laughs> today's episode of fuma talking is in my opinion there's this trendy topic on Facebook. I don't know if you got to Twitter or Instagram, but it was mostly on Facebook about a mother-in-law slapping a bride at the reception. What happened? If you don't know the story, I'm going to quickly go into the story so that you can understand where my gist is coming from. So it was a white wedding and um, mother-in-law had a guest who came late. They came from a far distance and she felt to be somehow not to give them food or something to eat but she didn't have any other thing left and she knew the bride kept food for her parents so she sent someone to go talk to the bride so that she could take little from the food and give to her guests the bride ignored at first she went again the bride said no i think the mother-in-law um cannot take or could not take um no for an answer so she decided to still go to the food to, to where the food was kept and dished out the food. The bride saying it, went there, snatched the food and poured it back into a cooler. And the mother-in-law couldn't take it. She raised her hand and slapped the bride. Bride was like, what? Me? Slap me? Slap the mother-in-law back. Plenty wrongs and it didn't make it right because the groom is filing for a divorce after two weeks of getting married. Now, there are plenty, lots of hot takes on this trending topic. And I have mine too. But before we analyze, before I analyze my, my hot take, I think, I believe there was an underlying issue before this whole thing. And I think most of you believe there's an underlying issue too because just food will lead to a um, festival of slaps how now like give me food i don't give you food you just slap me i slap you back come on so i'm going to analyze mine and i would like you to also give your opinion on whatever i'm going to say like i said this series is on in my opinion all right let me go quickly into it from the first step let's start from the late commas People that came late to an event, I know they were coming from a far distance, but because they're already getting there late, I'm very sure they know that food at the party might be finished. So they might not be expecting too much from there. But let's also take a look at it like this. They might be tired and hungry. So that's why the mother-in-law is trying to satisfy them. So I understand her. Now, if you are a host, a party host, Please, always keep extra food somewhere, maybe a cooler of food for latecomers, for those that helped in organizing or clearing the venue and helping you to arrange things. Always keep cooler of food for them. If this mother-in-law had that cooler of food, I'm sure she won't go and beg the bride for food. I think the bride knew this. That was why she kept the cooler of food for her parents. Probably her parents came from another town since it's a white wedding. It was planned by the groom's family most of the times. White weddings are planned by groom's family where I am. So she kept this food for her parents, knowing that they will go back to the hotel. They might be hungry and she doesn't want them to be stressed. Disturbing somebody for such is somehow, but this is your daughter-in-law. Well, let me leave that. So these people know that they might not really get food and the mother-in-law wants to satisfy too there's nothing wrong to go and beg your daughter-in-law now let's go into the daughter-in-law begging the daughter-in-law there's nothing wrong if somebody coming to beg you you can come to a compromise oh you have a guest and uh, this food is for my parents so okay you know what let's do it 50 50. 
collect the meat and give them the drinks. Uh, when we finish from here, I can buy another meat from a fast food joint or somewhere and put it on my parents' food. I will explain to them, they will understand. And the story has ended. That is it. But she said, no. But I think the mother-in-law could not take no for an answer. Like I said, I believe there's an underlying issue. Maybe there was a festival of no before that time. So she was like, nobody would tell me no in my, my son's house. It is my son. He paid for this thing. He paid for your bride price. He paid for the food. Why will you tell me no? So she went to the cooler and dished the food. Then the wife now, she's not a wife now, came and dragged the food. Now it's rude to go to some something, to go to that food. She already said no. There's nothing you should do. Go back. Even if it's biscuits and mineral, you can buy for the guests around there. Buy it. Let them know that. Ah, sorry, oh, food can't finish. Oh, we didn't expect the crowd. Ah, no, no. you can even take them out. After the this thing, unless they want to go back, you can say, oh, let us take you to this particular place so that you can eat. Some of them will even say, ah, no, 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 you don't, you don't have to stress. They might take themselves out after that. Or you can decide to take them out. Or you can order food from hotel. This would have solved the whole issue. Now you'll be the right one and be, you'll be able to say, ah, I asked you for something and you could not give me knowing fully well that I needed this help. And you'll be justified. But no, you went there and went through it. Now, thirdly, the bride saw that this woman that is now her mother did this. Instead of causing that embarrassment, she could have just gone there and said, ah, or just ignore herself. But if she knows, she cannot ignore my mommy, but I said this food is for my parents. Now, why did you have to do this? Find a solution for your parents. And if the mother-in-law did not even finish the food, carry the remaining small one and go and give your parents. Or you can order food for your parents in the hotel. Or any other solution. Instead of snatching, it's embarrassing. Even if it's to a child you did that. Even if it's to your Ashebi girls. It is really, really embarrassing. And that doesn't show good manners. If she had done that, she might have been justified. But no, she snatched the food. Another cancelled. Now, this mother-in-law that they snatched food from, instead of her to say, ah, you are really mannerless, so you knew I need help. I needed this help. I told you I have guests, blah, blah, blah. But you, still, you were still adamant. She decided to raise her hand and slap another adult. Any adults going around with their hands raising up, to slap people should be expecting such favor back. I don't care what the person's age is, even though we respect elders in this part of the world, but some persons are actually rude and mannerless. Fortunately for that mother-in-law, uh, as daughter-in-law is rude and mannerless. So she slapped her back. The bride would have been the one at fault now, and people would have justified the mother-in-law's action and be, and stay behind her and say this daughter-in-law is really rude but if it was the daughter-in-law's mother that dished this food would the daughter-in-law have slapped back her mother sometimes when we are acting let's use our sense when we are angry that's why they say don't take actions when we are angry the best thing the bride should have done is not going to where the food was at all even when she noticed that the mother-in-law was there because anger begats nonsense behavior. Don't act that period. Now they've exchanged slap. Who is going to lose? The son is not going to disown his mother. So last last is the bride, the wife that is going to lose. So all these things that might have been avoided is now ending in divorce. How will this sound that two weeks after marriage you are getting a divorce? Why? because you have bad manners. And like I said before, I believe there's an underlying problem. I have two reasons why I think this happened and I'm going to mention it. So I would like you to also tell me yours in the comment section, I would love to read. I'm just imagining that probably the bride's family during the traditional marriage were not realistic with their bride list. They were too extreme with asking of things, this, that, and even to, probably from the introduction to the end 
of the wedding itself. It was the groom that was providing everything. Even after bargaining, they said, no, you have to. And probably they are not the same tribe. So the groom does not really know the culture. But later they heard that all those things they asked for was not, it was hiked. And he's getting the mother-in-law angry. So because of that, when they cooked for the wedding, the mother-in-law hoarded all the food and said, this food is for us. And the, um, probably the um, Ashebi girls that helped the bride, the bride was trying to get food for them. And mother-in-law said, no, 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 no. This food is for family members. This food is for church people. This food is for reception. There's no food for anybody that did not do anything here. And the bride had to look for food outside for Ashebi girls and all the people that helped her to become beautiful that day. So she already carried that in mind and was like, I will pay this woman back. Fortunately for her, she was able to get little food for her parents and kept it at the reception. So this is already a problem. The payment, this is my son that got it, so I'm going to get everything. It's our brother's money. Probably the, the sister in law says, it's our brother's money. Eh, your family was wicked, so all the food, now we get them. Nobody should hold us. Even to spray enough money, they did not allow the bride to touch it. It was the sisters that were touching it. And the groom was not saying anything. He didn't even know, but the bride was noticing because the groom was everywhere. So the bride had it in mind and said, I will do you people back, both the mother and the sisters. I'm just saying. So now the reception came, there was crowd. The mother-in-law had finished all her food. And it was not time for favors to be returned. You that did not give me food for my Shebi girls, you are not asking me food for your visitor that came late. Is it me that sent your visitor to come late? Please, 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 ma, face your visitor. The way I went to look for food for my Shebi, go and look for food like that for your visitor. It is not my business. And the mother in the law was like, eh, uh -huh. it's not my son that bought the food. Come on, carry the food and dish for my visitor. That was where the problem started. And that's my own. So I would like to hear your own reason why you think these two women had loggerheads at the reception of their big day because it's big day for both the mother-in-law and the wife. But they decided to embarrass themselves. I would like to see in the comment section. If you've not subscribed, subscribe, like, share, and I would love to see your comments. Until next time, I still remain your girl for my FM trio. For those of you that don't know that I'm FM trio, I am FM trio, your future mommy trio. Bye.